Hello, my name is Alessio Lario. I'm product manager for AnyGrid here at Focus. Before we continue, click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more content such as this. If you own an AnyBridge ABPLC, then it comes with an integrated solid state relay driver. What that means is you can purchase a DC or AC solid state relay and have it controlled by your AnyBridge. You can switch that relay depending on the state of your battery or you can permanently turn it on or off through the app. In practice, this gives you the ability to do excess energy management or to react to a low battery scenario by, for example, turning on an additional generator or turning off non-critical loads. We will now continue to look at what the smart switch looks like and how to connect it to your system, and then finally, how to set it up. In order to use the new smart switch functionality of the AnyBridge ABPLC, purchase a solid state relay. These are available in both AC such as this model, or DC variants. The ABPLC outputs a signal of about 5 volt DC. So in this case, you can see the control signal is 3 to 32 volts. So this is compatible with the AnyBridge ABPLC. Next, prepare a standard network cable. Cut off all wires except for the one going to pin 7 and 8 of the Ethernet connector. This side will connect to the solid state relay, and this side to the AnyBridge ABPLC's RS-485 port. Now proceed to wire the cable into the solid state relay. Pin 8 of the prepared cable goes into the negative terminal of the solid state relay's control side. Pin 7 goes into the positive side of the solid state relay's control side. Because in this case we are controlling an AC load, this is suitable for all of your 230 volt or 120 volt AC loads that would otherwise be powered directly by your AnyGrid PSWH, for example. Next, wire the power side. The neutral conductor and ground remain uninterrupted. Connect only the live wire to the power terminals of your solid state relay. Next, take the AnyBridge ABPLC and plug into the RS-485 connector. Pin 7 and 8 of this connector will now control the solid state relay with the smart switch functionality. Finally, connect the AnyBridge ABPLC to your solar device as usual. Next, open the Focuslink mobile app and scan for BLE devices. Once your AnyBridge ABPLC is found, tap on it to connect. You will be presented with a status display of the ABPLC. Go to the settings up top. Here you can see we are connected to a single PSWH 5 kilowatt inverter. Currently there are four functions for the smart switch settings. Permanently off, permanently on, excess energy, and low battery functionality. In this case, we will select low battery. We now have the option to switch between state of charge or voltage control. We'll stick with voltage control. Low battery means that the solid state relay is switched on when the battery voltage is low. So in this case, let's turn it on at 44.5 volts. and turn it off again at 48 volts. Now we just tap to send the data, and that's it. The solid state relay will now switch according to the settings you've set. Thank you for watching today's video. 
Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you would like more content such as this. For additional details, check out the links below. For more videos and information, go to www.focus.com. Focus, making reliable energy access possible. Anywhere, anytime, any grid.